Hello, everybody who's joined us for this live broadcast this evening in the, well, the Mara Triangle in Kenya. You are looking at a very unusual creature, and it is known as a serval cat. Now, we, if you're wondering why on earth uh, you're in black and white, it's because we've got our infrared cameras on, which uh, allows us to, of course, look at these animals without bothering them. Now, I had the spotlight on her just a moment ago because she was moving um, quite far away from us, but we found her again. I'm just going to give her a little bit of light. She's looking for things like rodents and birds and anything she can get her paws on. Um, because this is live, of course, you can have chats with me. So you're welcome to ask me any questions. You can just comment away. And uh, any questions you've got about a serval, hopefully I'll be able to answer them for you. But she's definitely on the search for tonight's next meal. And I wonder what she's going to catch for us. Wouldn't that be exciting? Now, I have to tell you, we're very lucky. We are the only ones out here in the Mara Triangle at the moment. There's nobody else out and about other than the anti-poaching team out to protect the animals. How great is that? Shall we reposition, Manu? I think we can go a little bit further. Wonderful. Right. Well, seeing as though you've got to look at me now, better introduce myself. My name is Taylor. And uh, bringing you the amazing footage of the serval is Manu. And like I said, this is live. This is happening right now. So let's see if we can catch up to this girl and see what's happening. Now, she could hunt at any moment. Now, I've just got to figure out where she went again. She's disappeared in the long grass. Where did she go? Was she up this way? We're just trying to have a look for her now. And as we search... Kaz, you're wondering, let me stop here, I'm going to quickly search. You're wondering if serval are fairly common in the Mara. They actually are. I've seen so many of them. Uh, very, very lucky, in, in fact, to see so many serval. But this is the problem now. She got too far away from us, and now she's gone in the long grass. Where did you go, young lady? I'm going to try and scan as slowly as we can. We got her. Whereabouts are you looking? Oh wow. Look at that. There she is. She snuck away from me. Okay. Well now you've got her in the spotlight. Um oh, I'm gonna turn the spotlight off. How great is that? So so sorry, there was a question just now about uh, how common are servals and very, very lucky, like I said. I've actually seen more servals than I've ever seen in my entire life yeah, since I've been I've been here for a whole three weeks now in the Mara. Um, pretty much around every corner, uh, you'll get to see one. And they're fairly relaxed as well. Because they're such a small predator, they do tend to be on the skittish side. But because it's so open here and there's plenty of vehicles moving around, they have um, got used to us. They become almost habituated to the cars and they carry on with their day without really being bothered by us. But we will keep our distance. Even though she's so small and she's only hunting rodents and, like I said, probably birds, they're experts at catching birds, we don't want to intervene too much. And that's why we use these infrared light so it doesn't disturb her uh, we've had so much rain at the moment it's been unbelievable so the grass has grown quite a bit it's nice lush and green and that's a good thing for the serval not because of the green lush grass but because of the you'll have a, a, a boom in the population of rodents now uh, so the giant pouch rat which is a common visitor within this area the four striped mouse so she'll be going after things like that and then a moment ago I said to you that they're really good at catching birds they can leap really high into the air they've got a shortened tail which helps act as a as a rudder and they will snatch them right out of the sky so poor birds that have got long tails whether they get them for a breeding or perhaps they just have long tails all the time they better watch out because the serval won't be afraid to grab hold of one of those feathers and well put it to its death but the serval needs to eat too now if you want to ask a question like sandy has uh, this evening you're welcome to maybe you can just comment away and the question is do serval hunt alone or so are they alone uh, yes they're solitary however you will see a male and female coming together and of course you'll see a female with her kittens look how her posture has changed completely see how she started slouching in the grass now she's lucky because she is small so her head is way below the 
the t well the tallest grass so she doesn't have to crouch like a leopard or a lion would she's just hunching down slightly her prey will be living in the grass there's also lots of birds so there's lots of african puppets there's lots of uh, rufous snaped larks and yellow-throated long claws and all these different birds that live down in the grass so she could be going after one of those too but it's too dark to tell what's going on and what's lurking beneath that grass her eye reflection is what's giving her presence away to me now cunning you say you're wondering how often will the serval eat whenever it can get a meal see they typically go for smaller things so you won't find a serval necessarily going for something like an impala and uh, they prefer to eat the birds and and the rodents a quick meal and they will catch a couple a day but Again, most of the predators, unfortunately, are not the most successful hunters, and especially those in the cat family, in the Philidae family. And it takes them one or two goes before they get it right, maybe even three or four goes before they are successful. But they are persistent creatures. They try and they give their best 100% of the time. Whether they're unsuccessful or not, well, they'll give it a bash. But she's stopped. And she'll be using her ears. Her big ears. You'll hear any rustling in the grass. Oh, see? Something caught her attention. She l didn't leap forward, but she lunged forward. She's holding her position again. And she's got incredible eyesight and also a very keen sense of smell. So she'll be using a combination of those to try and pick up on her prey. Now, Alison... You've asked me if I've ever seen a serval before I got to the Mara. Well, Alison, I'm actually one of the very lucky ones who have had plenty of serval sightings. Uh, from where I'm from in the Eastern Cape, there's quite a few of, uh, of them around there. They're actually trying to introduce two, which they kept in bomas. Um, they brought them from another area. They actually even collared them to try and track their movements, which was incredible to see. And uh, one stayed on the property. Uh, well, they both stayed on the property for a little while, and then one decided that it had enough and it up and left. And must have moved just shy of a hundred kilometers away onto another reserve where we obviously got a call and said we know that you have two collared servals we have one with a collar is it perhaps yours we tried to go and, and um, capture it again to bring it back but unfortunately it got the better of uh, the capture team and it well lived it stays out down there uh, i've seen them in trees i've seen a rhino chase a serval out of a shrub before which was really quite exciting and then a lion stalk it and chase it around um, so that serval didn't have a very good day. But um, like I said, I have been lucky. But they haven't all been as relaxed as the serval up in the Mara. And I had the most unbelievable sighting. I've actually, now that I think of it, I've, I've had some incredible encounters with these yeah, these cats. And the the one day, and it was I think it was my second day here in the Mara, I watched a serval with the most amazing amount um, of sort of courage it showed absolutely no fear and basically spat in the face of a spotted hyena uh, in order to scavenge on a wildebeest carcass which the hyena were feeding on and this serval quite happily well not quite happily it hissed and it made a lot of noise and showed its teeth and put its ears flat back and i'm sure the hackles were standing up but it in the end it got a couple of mouthfuls of that uh, wildebeest so that was fantastic to see two different predators and one much larger than the other um, of course the hyenas don't care they wouldn't be worried about something like a serval but there she goes again on the move so stopping listening sussing out the situation obviously realized there's not much there so she's going to move on now Ooh, ooh, something gave her a bit of a fright. Now, Dominique, you're wondering if serval has any natural predators. Unfortunately, due to their size and being so low down on the predator hierarchy, most certainly there are a number of different animals uh, that could threaten a serval. So, firstly, big eagles, can you believe it, um, uh, could harm a serval like this? Hyena, lions, leopards, a crocodile even. You know, there are many, many different things out here um, that could definitely kill a serval. But um, let's hope that this girl is lucky tonight. And the reason why I know she's a female is I actually had a look and I noticed I, I look for the, the parts that make a male a male and a female a female. And she was lacking the bits that uh, make her a male. So I just assumed. There isn't much difference between the two other than the male can get slightly more um, larger than the female. And... And then that's really, really it, in fact. There's not much uh, more to it. Same color, no sexual dimorphism other than 
on the side. Right. So, unfortunately, our lovely lass gave it a bash, but was not successful this evening. But that's okay. That's fine. She's going to continue scouring through the long grass. And who knows? Keep an eye out for those live notifications. Maybe we're going to watch her catch something. Uh, but for myself and Manu, it's been fantastic. And hopefully we'll have a chat with you in a little bit.